Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Eric from Remnants of Fire Ministries. How y'all doing this evening? How was the week started so far? Um, let's just pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We just thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Bless us on tonight. Speak through us. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for reconciling. We thank you for restoring. We thank you for renewing our minds, renewing our hearts, our spirits, renewing our marriages, our families. In the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we burn and we crush the powers of darkness. We burn the powers of darkness with the fire of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, I want to talk about something. I, oh, God is so good. I was just researching some things maybe about a half hour ago. And in my spirit all day today, it's been about the eyes, the, the seven eyes of the Lord. I was looking into it this weekend, but it was in my spirit today to really uh, talk about it. The seven eyes of the lamb. Um, let's just go to um, Revelations 4 and 5 right quick. The Lord gave me a powerful revelation a little while ago. He is so awesome. This is Revelations 4 and 5. And this is talking about worship of the creator. It says, out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So these um, lamps that are burning are the seven spirits of the Lord. Let's, let's go to Isaiah 11 right quick. We go to Isaiah 11 so we can understand what the seven spirits of God is. Okay, in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2, it says, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. That's the first. The Spirit of wisdom, that's two. The Spirit of understanding, that's three. The Spirit of counsel, that's four. The Spirit of might, that's power, that's five. The Spirit of knowledge, that's six. And the fear of the Lord, that's seven. So those are the, the seven spirits that are burning in Revelations 4 and 5. Okay, so let's go to Revelations 5 and 6. It says, and I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and the four beasts and, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. So that's starting to, to explain that the seven spirits of the Lord can see everything in the earth. Let's uh, go to Zechariah. Chapter 4, verse 10. Yeah, this is Zechariah, chapter 4, verse 10. It says, For who hath despised the day of small things? For they, for they shall rejoice 
and shall see the plummet in the land of Zerubbabel. With those seven, they are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. So that's showing that the, the seven eyes of the Lord can see everything. But this is what got me. This is what really got me. Um, for the last few months, the Lord has been really on me about Ephesians 1. Ephesians 1, Ephesians 3, Ephesians 4. If you know, if you've seen any of my videos, the Holy Spirit always leads me to talk about those chapters in Ephesians. And so as the Spirit had been dealing with me about the Lamb with the seven eyes, I, the Holy Spirit said, go to Ephesians 1 and 18. And I went. And I said, okay, Lord. And not really realizing, Ephesians 1 and 18 says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Thank you, Lord. So the Holy Spirit said, notice what it says. It says the eyes of your understanding. I said, oh, he said the eyes are the seven spirits of the lamb. See, he said the eyes, plural, right, are of your understanding being enlightened. He said, those are the seven spirits of the lamb. He, no, he, he was saying, right. Basically, the eyes of our understanding are the eyes of the lamb. It's the eyes of him, the seven eyes. That's what it was explaining in Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the fear of the Lord. You know, the seven spirits. Okay? It's completeness. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. That ye may know what is the hope of his calling. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Oh my God. Those eyes, those seven spirits of God can see all into the earth. So the more we walk with the Lord, the more we begin to have that those eyes of understanding, being enlightened. We are the more we walk with the Lord, the more we are enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. That means that your calling is in him. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. That means we have. That's why the Bible says uh, that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. The Lord know we have needs. But remember David said in Psalms, he said that we are daily loaded with benefits. So this world is always trying to keep our minds occupied with bills and this, that, and the other. But we have benefits. We have riches of glory. He said, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. So the eyes of our understanding are the, are the seven eyes of the lamb that look into the earth. The seven spirits. That's what got me because I've been because, you know, at one point I like, OK, the eyes of our understanding. OK, OK, Lord, that's more than one. What what is the eyes of our understanding? What is the eyes? You know? But he helped me understand what it meant today. So let's go to Luke. Let's go to Luke chapter one. No, Luke 11, verse 34. 
It talks about the lamp of the body. It says no man, when he had lighted a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. The light of the body is the eye. The light of the body, the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, have no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle does give thee light. That was interesting. Yeah. So the light of the body is the eye. It's the eye. The eyes of our understanding. Being enlightened. Enlightened. That means ding, being enlightened. So, I want to go to a scripture in the book of Acts. If I can find it. I just had that scripture too. Where did it go? There it is. Acts 26 and 18. Okay, it says to open. It's, uh, this is uh, Acts 26 and 18. To open their eyes and to turn from and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Remember, Paul was talking about the inheritance and the saints, right? Paul also talks about the forgiveness of sins in Ephesians 1, where we just came from. So to open their eyes, let, let's go to verse, let's go to verse, uh, let's go to verse 12. It says, wherefore, as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest, at midday, O king, I saw in the way of light from heaven. All above, he said, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in a Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why, per why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of the things which thou hast seen and which things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. So he's basically, this is Paul telling his story about how he met Jesus. Okay. He, his eyes was enlightened <laughs> at that time. So he says to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, which was we read in, in, in Luke 11, and from the power of Satan unto God, and that they may receive the forgiveness of sins and the inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. So, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to John chapter 1. 
We, we know in John chapter 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was what? The light of men. It says, in him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but he was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him to give them to, to, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Ain't that something? So this light is designed to enlighten us, to give us power to become sons. So that we can be perfected in him. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I wanted to talk about. <laughs> um, I, let's go. Let's go to um, Psalms twelve. Talks about those seven spirits, right? What we we talked about. Let's go to verse six. Psalms 12 and 6, it says the words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Let's keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you on tonight. Lord, we thank you that this word that you have spoken to us tonight will penetrate our hearts. And will, and will continue to enlighten us that your light may shine through us, that you may be glorified through us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we destroy and we burn every serpent's demon. We burn every demon from hell. We burn it up with the power and the glory and the anointing and the fire of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, y'all, y'all have a good night. <laughs>